guys welcome back to my channel I'm back with yet another video and today I'm gonna do an unboxing on a pair of Prada leather boots um, I have picked up this pair at least I think around one month or more probably two months ago and I posted a picture uh, of the box not of the shoes on Instagram on the day of my pickup so if you follow me on Instagram you might saw the picture um, and if you don't I'll leave the link down in this video anyway um let's go directly to the shoes so i really want to you know i was not wearing the shoes uh i have another pair of prada boots um ankle boots these are a bit higher than ankle i believe um and i'll show you also the other ones and we'll do the compare a quick compare of the two um why i picked them up was the story goes the following i was on one of the louis vuitton events uh i think in september something like that which uh, was highlighting some of the new collections for men and while i was strolling in the store i also saw a pair of boots uh, at louis which uh, featured this um, leather kind of belt detailing on them kind of clipping and then kind of expire I mean I really like the design but the, the price was around 1000 euros which is you know for me quite a lot to pay for a pair of leather boots um, so when I was two three weeks later in the Prada outlet in uh, Pandorf um, I stumbled upon on these and um, just a quick glance and a try uh, made me decide to pick these ones up so let's look at them now um, here is the box as always is Prada they have these really quality boxes uh, I don't know what you do with your boxes guys but you know I try to um, keep the box as long as I can but you know it's you know becoming uh, a bit of a nuisance because they are very very big on the outside this box has little logo it says Prada Milano and I think the year they started, which is 1913. I'll come that closer very nicely. And as you can see, there's a very nice texture on the box, which to me resembles their Safiano kind of style of leather. Anyway, inside is looking like this. Um, this usually, as I mentioned on some of my videos, this pattern can be found inside the bags in the lining, uh, in the Kurit Prada bags. Um, then they came wrapped up in the paper and here's my receipt as always you know me guys with the receipt um, I want to share my receipts uh, and I want to tell you how much the item costed um, so the outlet price on this particular so when these boots arrived to the outlet they were priced at 500 euros there they're about and then I picked them up on the outlet sale, which means uh, they were 50 off on the day that I bought them. So they were, uh, they came out to 248 euros. Um, here's the price. So a huge saving, uh, you know, to the boots that I looked at, and I believe quality. They are a very high, a very high quality. Um, the invoice comes in a very nice envelope. Um, looks like this that will be your invoice and that's it and now to the reveal like this like this and here is the boot so this is how they look like so they are a bit higher than ankle length so they come a bit higher up here and then they have these straps, which I really like on this boot because it gives it, you know, it gives it more substance. To me, at least, it's more interesting. Um, so you have one strap here, second strap here, and the third strap here. They have um, like kind of belt buckles and a very nice detailing because all of them are um, indeed um, engraved with uh, the Prada logo or Prada lettering, as you can see here all three of them and they are um, I would say adjustable so I'm gonna take one like here so you see they attach on the bottom here and as you can see there is another a hole here so basically you could tighten or actually this one is tightened so this one you can be loose you could lose this a bit up so if this would be a too tight uh, for you here to make them more comfortable um, all of the other ones also come with one additional hole and it's the same for the tops I'm gonna show you that 
So basically it gives you two positions here where this boot can you know go more more forward or more back as the leather stretches. Um, then if we look at the toe box, the toe box is flat. Um, I don't know, I, I, I would have preferred if it wouldn't be so flat, to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, I prefer the toe box on the Sefiano leather boots that I got. Uh, but it's not bad, it's not bad at all. And actually what this means is when toe box is done like that, means the shoe is quite wide here. Which for me is not that bad because my leg is a bit on the wider side, so I, I do appreciate that. And then here's the another very useful detail, which is the zipper. So you can get really quickly in and out of this boot. Um, the pull tab is made out of leather, as you can see here, very nice detail. And then this, as though it looks silver, it is a bit darkened silver, another, you know, subtle detail, um, but a very nice one indeed. I'll try to bring it closer as the camera zooms in on the boot. And when I move it around, now it actually looks very silver, silver. Um, let me try to bring my ring in. So you can see maybe now on the ring, the ring is really silver, the ring that I have on it, stainless steel. Um, and you know, this is also, but this is a bit darker, which you know, it doesn't come good on the camera, but um, believe me, it's there. Um, the heel is, um, I would say, very reasonable. Uh, my, I didn't measure it, I can, you know, if anybody's interested, I can give you the detail on that. But I believe it's around three centimeters, so 30 millimeters. Um, and and on the back, there's nothing on the back. I like this little detail that, you know, they are higher on the front, the boots. So they come more up here and they are lower here. And I think that adds to the, you know, to the walking comfort of these. Um, all of the straps, another detail is the bottom two, actually not all, but the bottom two uh, finish on this side here where they are, you know, they come up to the zipper, at least this one, this one almost. And then they are sewn in here and they continue around the, the shoe. But this one in the in the back, it actually goes all the way around the shoe. Uh, as you can see. So this one is a bit different, it goes all the way around. And these two actually just finish up on the zipper. Um, the zipper itself, again, I didn't wear the shoes yet. I was waiting, I don't know, to kind of unbox them. The zipper is quite stiff still at the moment, but I guess this is gonna, you know, kind of loosen up um, as I use the boots. And another nice detail is they have a little pull tab here, which usually in a lot of shoes is made out of canvas or something like that. This one is full leather. The same is the same material, which I believe is calf leather as it is on the feel at least. And you know, it's it's a nice little detail that adds to the shoe. Inside is a big Prada logo um, on the bottom of the shoe. Shoe is fully leather inside, which is another nice detail. I'll show you like this, guys. As you can see, um, there, the construction is full, full leather. And the size of this particular boot is size 10. Uh, now, uh, I usually am size 11, um, when I say size 10, I mean size 10 UK, um, which is in this case uh, 45, um, actually no, it's 44 even. Um, let me look at the, there any detail here, it just says size 10. Um, here's the, the detailing on the size 10, and so actually I believe they are, um, size 44, which I, you know, usually I'm size 45 to 46, depends on, you know, the manufacturer. Uh, but this boot, since the construction is a bit different, you know, they're wider here, they have this more flat um, toe box. Um, they, they do feel, uh, you know, bigger. And the sales associate in the store was very nice. She told me, look, I, I believe, you know, we sold a couple of these and usually people went a size down. That kind of scared me, to be completely honest, because I, I just, you know, get it wrong so many times. I buy shoes too small and then I cannot wear it and whatnot. But, you know, I, I, I did not wear these ones out, but I wear them inside. And so far, it looks like she was spot on. These definitely wear big, for sure. Um, the last thing I want to show you on this shoe, particular shoe, is the bottom. So, as you can see, it's uh, made out of uh, wood. So, it's a wooden bottom. 
um, the construction is glued which is you know not the best um, I, I you know the best shoes at least in my honest opinion or the ones you know that I prefer is you know when they are good uh, good year welded meaning uh, and stitched meaning that they you have a, a stitching that is you know coming from the top here holding the upper of the shoe and then you can see it protruding here on the bottom meaning it's stretched through and through and actually those shoes I believe are a bit more comfortable and they are easily I mean you can replace the whole bottom if you want and just put a new new bottom on these ones as everything is glued I believe that might not be the case uh, minimal branding on the back says uh, Prada Milano here and then Prada here this piece is though rubber which I think it will help with you know some of the grip um, and of course the sizing is uh, you know written here which is size 10 still has the stickers on because I as I said I didn't wear them outside so this is basically the view on these boots what do you guys think is it a good deal at 250 euros uh, I think it's a good deal and now for the next portion I'm just gonna quickly bring up my other pair so we do a little bit of a comparison on what is what give me a second I'll be right back guys all right here we are guys with the other pair um, so just a quick comparison um, there is a separate video on this particular piece um, so as you can see as I mentioned this is really an ankle ankle boot um, so it only comes up to the ankle this goes over the ankles so obviously it's much higher um, the difference also being that this uh, as you might see is made out of Safiano leather which is obvious here in this shot uh, this is made out of calf um, so that's another difference um, they are both at the end flat but this one is much more flatter this one does taper in on the front on the toe box but then it just you know it kind of um, you know flattens up but still there is a significant narrowing, narrowing in this boot compared to this one and you know the heel on this one is much less than on this one if I bring it in I think there's definitely one centimeter um, to both of the, to this heel so this one is higher by one centimeter which I like per, uh, personally I don't mind this being a bit higher um, all in all you know they are different boots of course these ones don't have any zipper but they feature this uh, rubber part here which extends when you pull this one on obviously this one is worn as you can see um, it's uh, it's served me very well this boot um, I did pay attention wearing it um, I was skeptical how the Safiano leather will look like as you can see it did crease um, you know I should put some shoe trees in it um, but you know I do from time to time it doesn't really bother me to be completely honest um, and you know I'm very satisfied with this one these ones were a bit cheaper I believe I don't remember now um, but they were cheaper from the beginning so obviously this is a more expensive piece and it, I mean to me uh, this one is kind of more um, I would say formal if I can say that it's not formal but you know it can be kind of formal this one is more kind of rock and roll and that's what I like on this particular boot it really um, is is you know kind of more edgy and I can believe you know I think I wear it more with jeans and stuff like that this one I actually wore pretty much mostly to work now I have another pair of boots coming in and it's one of the pairs that I wanted for a really 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 long time and of course I'm gonna share with you when they come guys but for now I leave you with these two shoes uh, in the picture and I wish you a great day wherever you are and I'll see you soon on my channel please hit the like button and subscribe for more and we'll talk soon for now have a great day. Bye.